Hello and welcome to this Bible quiz. In today's video, I have 10 questions for you. But before we dive in, remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Every like and subscribe help me spread the word of God even further. So, are you ready? Question 1. In Jesus' parable of the 10 virgins, how many of them were considered wise? A. 3 B. 5 C. 7 D. 10 The correct answer is B. 5 Matthew 25 verse 1 to 4. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. Question 2. Who led the Israelites out of Egypt? A. Moses B. Abraham C. David D. Joshua The correct answer is A. Moses. And you will find the answer in Exodus 3 through to 14. Question 3. Which gospel begins with the genealogy of the Messiah? Is it A. Matthew? B. Mark? C. Luke? Or D. John? The answer is A. Matthew. In Matthew 1 verse 1 we read, This is the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Question 4. Who proclaimed forgiveness of sins as a forerunner to Jesus? A. Jeremiah. B. Elijah. C. Isaiah. D. John the Baptist. The answer is D, John the Baptist. Mark 1 verse 4. And so John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. 5. How many days did Jesus fast in the wilderness before being tempted by Satan? Was it A, 20 days? B, 30 days? C, 40 days? D. 50 days. The answer is C. 40 days. In Matthew 4 verse 1 to 4 we read, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Question 6. Who was the king of Israel when the prophet Elijah confronted the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel? Was it A. David? B. Solomon C. Ahab or D. Ezekiel The correct answer is C. Ahab In 1 Kings 18 we read So Ahab sent word throughout all Israel and assembled the prophets on Mount Carmel Elijah went before the people and said, How long will you waver between two options? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. Number 7. Who betrayed Jesus to the authorities with a kiss? A. Judas Iscariot 
B. Peter C. John D. James The answer is A. Judas Iscariot Luke 22 verse 47 and 48 While he was still speaking, a crowd came up, and the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? Question 8. What was the occupation of Matthew before he became a disciple of Jesus? Was it A. A fisherman? B. A tax collector? C. A carpenter? Or D. A scribe? The answer is B. A tax collector. Matthew 9 verse 9 As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him, and Matthew got up and followed him. Question 9. Who was the first martyr in the New Testament? Was it A. Peter B. Paul C. Stephen or D. James The answer is Stephen. Acts 7 verse 59 to 60. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Number 10. Who wrote most of the New Testament letters? A. James B. Peter C. John D. Paul The answer is D. Paul. According to the Bible, of the 27 books in the New Testament, Paul wrote 13, of which Galatians was the first written in 48 AD, and Titus the last letter, dated between 66 and 67 AD. Although some churches also ascribe the book of Hebrews to Paul, the Bible doesn't, and most scholars agree that it was written by someone else. According to tradition, Paul was beheaded in Rome, probably before he was 60 years old. Throughout the history of Christianity, Paul's powerful formulation of the Gospel, his emphasis on salvation by the grace of God through faith in Jesus, and his focus on love as the central value of the Christian life has served as a beacon for the Church. And that concludes this Bible quiz. Let me know what your score is in the comment section below and also tell me which was the most difficult question for you. Have a wonderful day. God bless.